Hi everyone, it is, it is October 30th, um, Wednesday. <laughs> it is a very glo gloomy day today. Um, and I had a sore throat yesterday. And today, luckily, I don't. Um, but I ended up falling asleep really early. I fell asleep at like 9, 15. It was like 9.15, 9.30, which was really, really early for me because I usually go to sleep around like 10.30 to 11. And I think I just needed a lot of extra hours of sleep. Um, but yeah, like I'm feeling better today. I'm feeling a little better. Uh, like I'm feeling... Hold on, there's a lot of driving stuff going on right now. Let me, like, focus on this. It's because it, I'm, like, on this two-lane, right, that, like, merges in the front. And then these people, like, they want to speed past me. And sometimes it just doesn't work. So, yeah. But, um, what's it called? Uh... I applied for a few jobs again yesterday. Then, so I applied for uh, Great Clips, and then I like sent the thing, and I think that they just have those thing programmed to send like an automatic message, which is weird because like as soon as I answered all the questions and everything, and I sent it over, I instantly, instantly got a text message saying that they would like to interview me and I was like okay and I applied for a receptionist so like you know front desk kind of thing um and it said that they wanted to to interview me but I'm like that was weird that was like instant it kind of felt like not real so like I don't know like I don't I'm gonna call them back today to see like I'm gonna call them to see if they're still hiring for a receptionist but more than likely high chances that they're probably not looking for a receptionist anymore since that job was posted I don't know how long ago uh like it's because it didn't say you know it was posted you know seven days ago or five days ago it didn't have any of that information so you know I don't know how long ago this job listing has been up but they did not take it down so I'm just assuming that they were busy and they found somebody else I don't know but I'm still gonna give them a call today just because you know I did get that text message just to like be like hey I'm I'm here I'm a, you know I'm aware of the job listing like please take me into consideration please I'm kind of like struggling here um but yeah yesterday I used my credit card to put gas because I was already low on gas it's like I feel like I have to do like $20 a, a week for gas and that's kind of hard to come up with when you don't have a job and the money that you do get which is help my, that my mom provides my mom helps me um, she helps me pay my like my debt pretty much my credit cards and my uh, dental my dental uh, pay, payment things my dental plans um, because I had the work done and stuff which I'm about to need more work which is really annoying I have to get because I have these two these two up here worked on and then, and then uh, they're actually two root canals and um, uh, they put in two uh, what's it called two temporary uh, fillings they're not even crowns they're fillings they said they were crowns but they're not crowns they're just temporary fillings and um, they're gonna have to put in the permanent ones because if I because if I don't then it, then I'm just gonna have like two holes and it's not going to be good because it's going to lead to infection um so i need to get that done and that's another thousand something dollars that i will have to owe them 
like to me this like I was talking about this to my husband I just feel like this country is a joke uh sometimes I just feel like it really is a joke because it's like I have Medicaid which means I am poor I have freaking Medicaid which is the you know the government's low 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 income uh virtually no income insurance for health so how is it that dental is not included in that plan dental is very important like why like okay in my in medicaid's dental plan right i have one simple extraction a year right one simple extraction and then uh i don't know how many cleanings but like simple everything is simple for it's for a person that has very nice dental hygiene and has like low cavity kind of thing not for somebody like me that has intense high cavity rate and that kind of thing it's not my fault it's my dna it's literally the way i was born i just have a high cavity uh rate the doctor told me this because I just, I don't eat sugar left and right. I don't do that. Like, I have it every once in a while, but I don't have it. Like, I don't have it all the time. So, therefore, there's no need for me to be uh, having cavities every single day or even, you know, developing these new cavities. Anyway, yeah. So, that's my problem with Medicaid. It's like, yes, they do help out with a lot of stuff with medications and covering, uh, for uh you know like uh, hospital visits and um even clinic visits which is awesome but apparently now my medicaid was going to change it's going to change to like wi healthy women's healthy texas women's which is like a very watered down version of like medicaid essentially it doesn't cover if like like if i go to the hospital is I gonna cover that like I'm fucked if I go to the hospital an emergency room or something I need something I had some kind of you know uh, situation is not gonna cover that the only thing it would cover is like well women's exams and I think she said some medications or something so I'm like dude is there any way to get ahead in the United States like please is there a way So I'm thinking about doing something. I'm thinking about posting day-to-day -day videos instead of um, instead of like the weekly ones that I usually do. I was thinking that maybe it would be better if I just post like day, you know, day-to-day -day, uh, content, and I think that that would be more like digestible for you guys. Like I think that you guys could just like watch you know one and then if you guys want to watch another one you can but you know like that kind of thing um but yeah that was me venting about life in the u.s <laughs> um yeah i'm trying to think about what else i could blah, blah, blah. can't even speak driving down this like old little vintage downtown and it's cute it's a cute little area where there's like smaller buildings the the buildings are really like vintage the houses are vintage they call it um not vintage what's the word there's another word for vintage that i can't think something district what is it oh my god not vintage district I forgot it's something with the word district in it but yeah that is my complaints about the US health insurance stuff I think that there should be a universal health care because I think that everybody in the US works hard 
I think everybody, I think everybody in the U.S. works hard, and I think that we should have universal health care in this country. You know what I'm saying? I think that each state shouldn't govern, like, you know what I mean? I don't know. I just have different thoughts and opinions. I just, I don't know. But yeah, um, that's pretty much what's going on. I'm gonna go listen to some music and get to school. And then I will record whatever we do because we are going to be doing, um, we're going to be doing a, a perm today, but without the chemical because they said that they don't want to keep the doll like curly and stuff. So like we're going to be doing a perm, the steps to the perm, but without the chemical. So it'll be like, what is the word? A clean a clean perm I don't know something like that but yeah I will see you guys at school